Hello everyone, welcome to Algebra 1 Half Lesson 77. Today we're talking about right cylinders, right circular cylinders, I should say. Now a right circular cylinder is anything like, for example, my water bottle. Now it's not a perfect cylinder because it does, um, the top is not quite the same as the bottom, but you get the idea. Um, then I have this bottle right here of wipes. This is a cylinder, okay? This one's a little bit more accurate because the top is basically the same as the bottom. So these are cylinders. Cylinders are very important. You'll see them a lot. Um, water tanks are more of a cylinder shape. Um, you'll see uh, oil tanks are a still uh, cylinder shape. All kinds of things are cylinder shapes. They're used very well. So it's important to know how to work with them, especially if you want to do anything in the scientific realm or mathematics, you'll need to know about right circular cylinders. So we have learned volume, area, surface area, all of those things. So let's talk about them when you have a cylinder. So to find the volume of a cylinder, it's the same as finding the volume of any object. The formula for volume is area of the base times the height. So what if I have a right circular cylinder? So this means a cylinder that has the same uh, base on the top and on the bottom. I have a right circular cylinder that is 20 meters tall and has a radius of two meters on the, around the base. Okay, so if I have one like this, it has a radius of uh, two meters on the base and it has 20 meters in height. Well, to find the volume, the first thing I have to do is find the area of the base. Area of the base, well, the base is a circle. So area for a circle is pi r squared. According to my problem, r is 2. So it's pi 2 squared. 2 squared I know is 4, and I know that pi is approximately 3.14. So it's approximately 3.14 times 4. Multiply that out and I get that it is approximately 12.56 feet squared for the area of my base. So to find the volume, I need the area of my base times the height of my object. So that equals 12.56 times the height which it says is 20. So when I multiply 20 times 12.56, I'm going to get, let me see here, 12, 10, 11, 5, 2, point. Okay, so I have about 251.2 feet, whoops, not square, excuse me, volume is cubed because I have feet squared here times feet. So I have three units of feet, so it's feet cubed. 2,512 feet cubed for the volume, okay? Or excuse me, not 2,000, 200, wow. 251.2 is what I meant to say. Feet cubed would be your volume, okay? Well, what about surface area? So volume is really simple. Surface area, honestly, is simple as well. It doesn't look simple because here is my formula. Surface area is two times the area of the base plus perimeter of the base times the height. Let me explain it. Surface area is the area around your total object. So it's the area here, the area here, plus this area here. It's all the area. So we have two of the base, the base is the same, so that's where we get the two times the area of the base. Now where do we get perimeter of the base times the height? Well that's the formula to find this area, the area around my shape. We've already looked at this earlier, but if I were to cut this shape and spread it out, now it's not going to be perfect because my shape is not the, um, this is not as tall as my shape, but you get the idea. If I cut this shape down one side and spread it out, what shape do I now have? This part here is a rectangle, a rectangle. So to find the area of this part here, 
This part really is in the shape of a rectangle. So I want to find the area of a rectangle. And the formula for the area of a rectangle is just base times height. So the perimeter of the base of my object is the base of my rectangle because the perimeter around here is this part right here. It's the top, it's the base. Because when I cut it, this is the perimeter of my base. Look what happens. The perimeter of the base is now this part right here. This is the part that wraps around, okay? So this is the perimeter of the base of my object, okay? So this here, this length, is the perimeter of my base. It's been opened up. And then the length is just the height of my object. So let's do it. If I have a cylinder that has a height of 20 meters and a radius of three meters, what would its surface area be? Well, let's start with the area of our base. If our base has, an, um, has a radius of three meters and it's a circle, it's a circle. So the area of the base is equal to pi r squared. R we know is three, so it's pi, let me move my chair, Let's see, okay. Pi three squared. So that would be 3.14 times nine, which is about 36, 12, 28.26 feet squared. So we'll put that into my formula. Two times 28.26 feet squared plus. Now let's find the perimeter of the base times the height. Well, the perimeter of the base, it's a circle, okay? So perimeter for a circle is actually circumference. And the formula for circumference is pi d or two pi r, since we have r. So that would be two pi three, since r is three. So that would be six times 3.14, which is about 24, eight, 18, uh, so 18.84 feet would be my circumference. So up here, the perimeter and the circumference are the same. So I have 18.84 times, and our height we know is 20. Okay, so for surface area, I have two times 28.26. So that gives me 12, five, 16, five plus, let's see, eight, 16, 17, three, Okay, 376.8. Now I add those together, and that gives me two, three, 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 four. Okay. Four hundred thirty three point two feet squared. Okay, so it's really not that difficult. It might, it seems like a lot of steps, and you're probably going, Miss Ashley, I did not get all that. I want you to try to watch the video again if you still feel confused. I want you to watch it again, and I want you to look at the examples. If you still feel confused, 
then I want you to text me and I want you to ask me for another video explaining it again. All right, but if you feel ready, then I want you to try your practice. Letter A and B at the bottom of page 217. Okay, letter A, you needed to find the volume of a right circular cylinder that has a height of 30 feet and whose base has a radius of 10 feet. So with a radius of 10 feet, the area of the base would be pi r squared, 10 squared is 100, times 3.14 is 314. So you multiply 314 times uh, 30, and that gives you 9,420. Then, and that should be feet cubed, by the way. 9,420 feet cubed. Then letter B, find the surface area of the same cylinder. So you need to start by finding the area of the base, which we already did for our first problem, 314. So it's two times 314 plus the perimeter of the base times the height. So find the circumference, two pi r. So that's two times 10 is 20 times pi, so times 3.14 is 62.8. <coughs> Multiply that by the height of 30, you get 1,884. Excuse me, add that to your um, area of your base times 2, so that's 628 plus 1,884. That gives you a total of 2,512 feet squared. Okay, that's all that you really need to know for this concept. If you feel confused, if you feel like, Ms. Ashley, I don't know all the steps, first of all, I want to make sure that you copy down this formula in your notebook so that you have it, you can memorize it, if you are missing any of the other formulas, copy those down so you have them and you can memorize them. Then I want you to ask me for another video if you need more help. All right? Have a great day, guys. Love you very much. Bye.